Hello to all of you. This is Dr. Tawal Mehta and today we are going to understand how to code and decode the data in SPSS. First of all, let us see the views which are there in SPSS software. The SPSS data set consists of two views. One data view and another is a variable view. This you can see from the left hand side data view and variable view. Now there is a question here which we want to code and decode in SPSS. It's a normal questionnaire, which consists of the serial number, ge name, gender, age, income, occupation, education. Then there are some other questions also. Now, when we will be entering this data into SPSS, First of all, make it sure that we will be entering only serial number, name is not necessary. So basically serial number is related to what the form number is or the respondent number. So let us go in the data file, let us go in the SPSS file. Here in variable view, you should be in variable view, make it sure. Then enter serial number. Space, it will not accept here. So it should be in continuity serial number enter it contains an illegal character that is dots are also not allowed so you should write down serial number enter as soon as you will enter serial number here there will be a change which will happen here in data view you can see here now that serial number has appeared okay the next thing which i want to enter here is name but normally we don't enter name so we'll directly switch over to the gender. So let's pick up the variable view and here I'll enter gender. Now here, in case of name, there are restrictions while entering the data. If you want to generate the additional thing in the output, you can write down here in the label. So gender of the respondent. Enter. So male and female are there, okay? What you will do, you will go in values, click on values, click on three dots, one male, add, and zero female, add, okay. Now let us pick up age. Now here age and age of the respondent has been captured in the uh, in the continuous nature that is what is the age of the respondent 35 years 36 years and therefore it does not require any coding if it was asked in some range like 10 to 15 15 to 30 then the coding was necessary if any variable is asked on the continuous scale directly no need to do any coding so age enter Age contains illegal character because the space was there. Age. And here I'll write down age of the respondent. Now I want to enter income. Again, I'll go in variable view. Make sure that you are in variable view. Income of the respondent. That you cannot write here because space is not allowed. Just write down income. And here, income of the respondent. Now, three categories are there, 10,000 to 20,000, 20,000 to 30,000, 30,000 to 40,000, okay. You will again go in values, click here, 1, 10,000 to 20,000, you can write this way also, or you can skip the dash also, 10,000 to 20,000, okay. So, 10,000 to 20,000 add to 20,000 to 30,000 add 3 30,000 to 40,000 add click ok let us go back occupation salaried employed self-employed let us go back into the SPSS variable view. Only I will write down here occupation. No space or full stop is to be considered here. Enter. Click here. Occupation. 
of the respondent click here one it is seller right at two employed three self employed add click okay let us see the questioner again education undergraduate graduate postgraduate where we will go any guesses yes we will go again in the variable view side by side let us see the changes which are happening in the data view you can see here in data view okay again we will go in variable view education enter education of the respondent enter one click on three dots one is undergraduate and two graduate and three postgraduate okay let us see the questioner again now here in eighth question i have received the information about this product from there are chances that you may get get multiple responses in this question so it is necessary that each variable or rather each source is created as one variable how to analyze it we will see later on but first of all understand the concept in any question if there are chances of getting multiple responses make it sure that each alternative is entered as a variable so you will go here and write down newspaper newspaper enter have you got the information from newspaper one yes zero no and okay then another information is from friends so write down your friends now in spss you can also copy the codes copy that is by doing the right click copy control v and the codes can be pasted control v or paste it then websites enter copy paste you also write down your friends websites and another alternative is social media so it is not possible to keep the space here so i'll keep social media i'll write social media in continue but for generating the output i write it on here as a social media enter again copy the code control v now comes the last part please rank the product on the given statements what i'll do we'll simply copy this statement from here copy and paste it here control v it will ask for a variable you can specify it as s1 now open the values click here open the three dots right on here one so one was strongly disagree two disagree and neutral fourth agree fifth strongly agree okay let us go there one is strongly disagree two disagree Three. Neutral. Four. Agree. Fifth. Strongly. Disagree. A. Okay. Let us see the next statement. The product have this product have zero maintenance. You can copy it from here. And 
again paste it here control v make this statement as s2 enter what you'll do next definitely you will copy the code from here control v now let's see in the data view all the variables have been generated now see for example if you want to enter the data directly into spss how you can do you pick up the first form filled up by the participant and you enter directly the data here first so the first participant is male and therefore the code for the male is 1 age group is age is 32 and he is in the income of say for say for example second group income in the second group so i'll write down here as second occupation is third education is one from where did he got the product of the from where did he got the information about this product so he got the information from newspaper friends websites no social media no what is his opinion on the statement two and five enter two and five so there is some problem let us see what's wrong here in the coding yeah there is some problem in the coding let us check the coding again go in the variable view and now i want to change the code okay be with me see one is strongly disagree two is disagree three is neutral four is agree so five students five should be strongly agree i want to change it no worries click here and press change and the code has changed click ok now copy this again here also now let us go back and try to see has a change occurred so strongly agree now let us take the another participant second participant second is female so two age 20 income group three three undergraduate three newspaper no no yes yes three and one so this is a way you can code and decode the data in spss if you want to see the codes press a and one and you will be also able to see the codes from here a and one so this is a way you can enter the data directly into spss for more videos on spss kindly subscribe to my channel you can follow me on linkedin and twitter please don't forget to press the like button thank you